The Duo Restaurant. That's where I met Chef Suta Anthachai, right on Browderboro's Main Street. Chef prepares his red snapper. So we're gonna start by cleaning this, this little guy up. Um, we have little bones right here. So we're just gonna take that one. Right in between here, you're gonna see these little pin bones. Yeah. Almost like pulling out a, a splinter. Right. I'm gonna sear it on the skin side, so that way we get it nice and crispy. Smoky. So you lay the fish right down nice and gently, yep. Yeah. Then Chef describes some of the vegetables we're gonna use in this dish. We have heirloom tomatoes, a couple of different varieties here. This is a purple daikon radish, garlic scapes. Colors are so vibrant. What do we have here? And immediately I'm thinking kielbasa. You're close, um, chorizo. It's called a palacio chorizo. And what will this do flavor-wise? This gives it another dimension, another punch. Especially delicate fish, it's just a match made in heaven. So next, Chef slices up those vibrant, colorful vegetables and adds them in with the chorizo. Right. This is kind of like building a house. You want to go from the ground up. Kind of like an architect. Lastly, we couldn't forget about that massive filet of red snapper. Top it with that harissa sauce from before and garnish with a little fresh cilantro. I guess the only thing left to do is eat it. That's right. Bon appetit. Hey, thanks for having us, Chef. Thank you. Thank you. I got the red snapper on my plate, the market fish. Now it's time to dig in. This is a great dish. Afterwards, dual owner Stephanie Bonin took me to where she buys her produce, from Miss Elizabeth's CSA. It's not a gimmick for us. It's how can we start with the best possible ingredients. So if you try a leaf of basil from here and you try a leaf of basil from your mainstream grocery store, you're going to be able to blatantly taste the differences between those two things. The chive blossoms here were in the red snapper dish, and those are give the onion flavor, not just for looks. And then a couple rows over there is the cilantro. Coming out here to seeing where yeah. the food is coming from is a great compliment to what you're producing in the restaurant itself. I mean, it's fabulous. So thank you for bringing me. Thank you.